Hi everyone, we're going to be talking about Just Rain's brand new TV series, Late Bloomer. Now I just finished watching it literally today and I am ready because I was actually filming a video recreating one of the scenes in Late Bloomer. Now I love the TV series, I thought considering the budget, um, a debut like major production, um, it being written by Just Rain, I mean I haven't watched a lot of his content but obviously I've known him as an icon, a Punjabi icon for all of us representing, you know, people in Gen Z, millennials, but seeing a brown guy on screen and acting something that wasn't, obviously it was based in Punjabi culture, but it kind of was also like a modern twist to it. Like it was kind of talking about, like I was laughing in the first episode when the whole like, seen about the OnlyFans. I really, really loved the show and I thought it was very progressive. It was very tell a story, but also not make it too unrealistic to relate to. Um, I really think that the acting was really good, actually. I, I was a bit skeptical because I'm like, sometimes they could kind of, you know, outplay it to the fact that it just becomes, you know, niche, but I really liked the acting and I thought it could even be on Netflix. Like it was such a good production. Um, I thought the cast was amazing. I love the casting of the film, especially Joss Rain's best friend in it, the Indian girl who was a lesbian. I really liked her character. I thought she was really iconic. Um, but I love the storytelling, how he showed that it wasn't as easy as everyone thinks it was to become a YouTuber and like pave a path for himself in the industry. Um, and I also really liked the fact that he touched on Sikki a little bit and how he was saying that he didn't know why he wears a turban and stuff like that, because I felt that that was so relatable, especially for Gen Z. Like, I feel like a lot of us are kind of like, mm, yeah, we wear it because, you know, we were just raised wearing it. But I feel like actually discovering the purpose is individual. And I really, really loved that that was the final episode. I mean, I would have loved it to keep going. Love a season two. I thought season six was the last episode, but it's not. Uh, it goes up to season eight, if you guys, season eight. I hope it goes up to season eight, episode eight, if you guys are watching it currently. But yeah, everything I said in this video, still adhered to it. Um, Let's continue on the video. I really, really loved it. And I would recommend you guys watching it. It's very lighthearted. Um, but it's also, you know, playful, it's colourful, like I really, really, it was something different, like, uh, I know she's cancelled, but Miranda Sings, like, watching her Netflix series, it was kind of giving me the same feeling that I was getting from watching that. Um, it was like the bigger story, um, but also in a really beautiful, narrated way, like I really, really liked how pretty much everything was, like I have no big critiques, like if, if you know me, you know I would give you those critiques, but I genuinely, genuinely am rooting for Just Rain's season two for Late Bloomer because it was actually that good. Um, I'm recreating one of the scenes, so again, make sure you check that out. My film, Guild by a Blessing in Disguise, is also out now, so you can check that out. But watching the series today really just inspired me to keep creating my original content. Still, you know, persevere through the fact that being brown isn't, you know, mainstream and, you know, aspiring for it to be mainstream because anything's possible in this life. And it just was validating to watch. So if you haven't checked it out already, guys, make sure you check it out. That was my review. Until next time, great things are always to come. Congrats, Just Rain.